Hey guys, welcome back to our episode 2. Now now here we are at uh, Bristol Bristol Adreno. It's the newest coolest restaurant in town that is meant for bi meant for bikers. People who love bikes, people who love people who love bikes and the people who love people who love bikes. Okay guys. So Bristol Adreno it is a very beautiful place guys and one let me say this it is a place where you can come chill come with your bikes guys and you can purchase bikes from here that is the cf motors the zontes the bath bikes yes you can and you can come here and eat with your friends chill and have some fun and listen to some cool music well, isn't the, it well the coolest thing that we are going to show you we will going to show you the, the rest of the restaurant how it looks how it's coming up it is just being open it has just been open the last like three days this this weekend that is on 24th of uh, of april and here we are to show you different type of backgrounds where you can be seated what, what food you'll be getting when you're seated here what kind of menus what exactly why are we calling it a biker's uh, restaurant and do you get to get all that information before this episode is in so stay tuned so and also underneath us the showroom will be up in the next four weeks so watch out so behind us today we have a cf moto 650 this is an adventure bike um the, it's so huge that uh, you might think it's a car but it's a bike it has two wheels <laughs> it's a 650 cc bike it's a liquid cooled bike um and it's going for only a million pop. so if your ford is a thousand shillings it's like 0 0.00002 percentage of this bike so keep it rocks. Right. So um this bike is very beautiful. So why is it called an adventure tour? Uh, well the, the different type of bikes. We can start with standard bikes, mm -hmm. you can go with street bikes, and you can go for adventure bike, then you can go for adventure tourers, and also we can go for sport tourers, we can go even for cruisers and scramblers. For this one is an adventure that is that helps you to tour around. Mm -hmm. The reason is, its framework is very light. The framework is done from aluminium mm -hmm. that makes the bike so light. It, ca it comes with ABS system on it, just like your car. It comes with the air cool, it comes with EFI, and, they are, and also it has a very good clearance if you go, if you go doing off-roading and, and uh, very rough training. That's the reason why it's called an adventure tour. Okay. Well, we sell this bike for, uh, for only 750000 and um, right now it's at the restaurant as an axe, like a useful axe, a very expensive <laughs> useful axe. <laughs> really? You can be able to purchase, you can be overall with it. Consumption wise, in, on this big bike of ours, it's a 310cc. You do around one liter in 35 kilometers. Okay. So you can be able to, even if there's, um, there's a crisis on fuel, you don't realize in this kind of bikes. You get LEDs, uh, lighting, you get keyless, keyless writing. Uh, uh, killers, killers options, and yeah, so it's 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 one hell of a bike um, that you get three years warranty from it, that you get three years free service from it, and uh, yeah, and you're welcome at that train anytime, especially when you're riding such a bike. On Mondays, Brio Bristol uh, train is closed for so that um, uh, our good friends that work here can also get a one one resting day. And you expect that from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday and Saturday, mm -hmm. it's open. We open at around 10, 10 a.m. and we close till late. Mm -hmm. um, you can get both food, uh, soft drinks, and also alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, it's also located in the, um, at the head of Bagadi, behind, behind Total Petrol Station. It is also near Texas Cancer Center, that's our landmark. And also we can say it's behind Strathmore University. Okay, that's amazing. And the seats are very comfortable and I love the place. You guys should come here. It's a place meant you come, you chill, you take as long time as you want to take pictures with the cool bikes. Um, yeah, you can also sit on it. You can, you can uh, get a picture. You can get a professional picture from here. You can request for photographer and so on. And you also be finding your pictures on our Adreno, Bristol Adreno instagram page soon as you come 
all right so back to the bike so this bike is it a liquid cooled bike or an air cooled bike this bike is a liquid cooled bike okay it's a year it has a year five system okay uh it has a double camshaft mm -hmm. it, it, it has a drive a uh, timing chain uh, driven mm -hmm. camshaft and uh, and uh, yeah let's say more specification it uses one one and a half liters of oil mm -hmm. it has a 17 liter tank that is standard for of most of the bikes mm -hmm. uh yeah the tires are 50 50 on road and 50 percent off road um abs as i mentioned earlier it helps you not to lock your mm -hmm. brakes it helps you to ride in, in terrain it helps you, helps you to ride in wet surfaces uh yeah and in on in, in travel as well it comes with the crash cage as you can see. Okay. So you are fully protected for seven hundred seven hundred fifty thousand. You get a bike fully loaded. All right. So thank you for that. So can you take me around the the hotel, the sure. Bristol Adrenal? Sure. Let's go. So Evans. So you're saying I'm seated on the seven hundred CLX? Actually, I um, I see two pretty stuff, two pretty things. <laughs> I've a pretty lady seated on the most pretty bike. Okay. I'm in Rio Bristol uh, showroom here in Madaraka at Bed Mobility. Well, so, so is this the Heritage or the Sports? Well, this is a CLX 700 mm -hmm. um, Heritage. We okay. call the Sport as a clip on, another okay. 17 uh, rim in front. Mm -hmm. But on the Heritage one, you get a 17 in front and you get um, a handlebar that you seated upright. Also, at the same time, this one of us. A, a, a bike that you can do both off-road and on-road. Um, it's a bike that can, it's perfect for uh, for town use, it's perfect for long distances. Uh, it's a liquid cool, it's EFI, it has LEDs, uh, lightings you can use at night properly. You have LEDs including your indicators. And uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty one, it's a pretty, it's a, she's a pretty lady. Indeed she is. Coming from town, yeah. how do I get to Adreno, Bristol Adreno? Well, if you're coming from town and you're using public means, um, there's Matatu that's behind Afi Centre mm -hmm. that they go directly to Madaraka mm -hmm. that goes to Stradmore and the areas around Stradmore. We are directly opposite, we are, we are literally behind Stradmore University, so you can use the Matatu behind Afi Centre. I think it's only 50 shillings to get here. It takes you around 30 minutes with traffic and 20 minutes or 15 minutes with no traffic. Oh uh, yeah, and by and the, they, they will drop you literally at the at the entrance of Adreno. That is parallel fall. So that's an easier way. So what if I come myself riding a bike? How will I be able to get here? Well, let me let me start from where from how I come to work. Well, I use Mombasa Road every day. Mm -hmm. And um, I get to Nyao Stadium. Mm -hmm. From Nyao Stadium, I go up Langata. When I get to road up to an inter intersection at Timol that goes to Langata and Bagadi, I use Bagadi. And just when I get to Bagadi at I rise, I do a U turn, and I get and I get inside Madaraka, which is the Eight Star University. Okay. If I'm coming from my Gong Road, I go up to roundabout of Kenyatta. I go down Bagadi. And before I, I finish Bagadi, I will take on. I will take my left after I rise and get again inside uh, inside the uh, Madaraka area. If I'm coming from town with a bike, I will use Mombasa Road to Nyao Stadium, Nyao Stadium to Langata, Langata then to Bagadi, and I will get, find myself at Madaraka. If I'm coming from um, um, if I'm coming from Rongai area, I will use Langata then to Bagadi. That's a, that's a, that should be the soft, uh, the shortest distance. So, what do I expect from this place in the next one week? 
Uh, well, we just opened a few days, two days ago, and uh, this is our first Monday we are closed for our workers to rest uh, since the weekend was a little bit hectic. This place was fully packed for the grand opening. Um, for the next one week, we should expect uh, we update on our Wi-Fi, we update our drinks that went uh, ran out uh, last weekend. We want to update our Google, our Google as well, Google Maps, so that people can find us easily. We are also going to update our pictures from this weekend. We are going to up upload the videos that we are doing right now in YouTube, uh, so guys can be able to view them. Uh, in the next one week, also we are also. Uh, going, we are expecting more bikes in more bikes as art. Mm -hmm. Those are brand new bikes as art, almost in every table that you're going to see. So uh, when you come here, it will be a very nice place to do your scene. You go to take pictures, uh, to take even selfies, and yeah, and we're going to share all these details clearly on our on our on our social medias and our website, so that everyone can be able to have a look and uh, and and be sure what they're coming to buy to see here in the next one week. The next two weeks we're also uh, finishing up with our with our parking space. So we'll have a huge parking space. In the next two weeks also we all, we'll have our, sh our the biggest showroom in Kenya uh, painted. And also if you come to our, uh, to our restaurant, you can be able to assess our showroom, which is beneath that's why we seated. So it is a place that you come, you learn so much things about uh, locomotives, about motorbikes, about restaurants, about food, and and about somewhere you can chill with, with people who love who love and uh, or people who have a passion to want something that you can be able to view uh, as brand new and clean in our showroom. Okay, so I've heard rumors that your wish, your um, your showroom will be open in the next four weeks. In the next four weeks, that's what we expect. We expect the biggest showroom in the country. That will be situated here. So the, the, the showroom is just, the restaurant is just the tip of the showroom, uh, the, just the tip of everything that is coming up. So there's so much in stock for the new, for bikers uh, in this market, as we talk from now, from the company called Bed Bikes and Bed Mobility or in junction together. So am I invited? Yeah, we the actually, everyone, everyone at the Grand Open, I'm, I'm fortunate it was last weekend, uh, but uh, we, maybe we'll have more Grand opening for the showroom, for for our, uh, we also, uh, above us, we have also um, um, a hub place that you can, uh, you can rent out a place to work. You eat here, you park your bike around here, you park, you have a parking around here, and also you can hire a, a place to, to sleep as well. Okay, so guys, you've had these more updates every single day, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see this place fully, fully finished, and everything, and people can enjoy the place, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. So guys, as you have heard from Evans about the Bristro Adreno, um, I love the place. You should visit, and uh, the ambience is amazing. The food is amazing, and Everything about it is amazing. The bikes inside. Where have you seen bikes inside a hotel? I'm waiting for an answer. Please tell me. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the Bed Bikes, the Bed Bikes episode two. And we have so much more coming and installed for you and coming. So stay tuned. Kindly subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you.